Hey guys, you are listening to English Made Simple. This is episode 19, numero 19. Hola chicos, amigos. Hello everybody. How is everybody doing? My name is Milena. Thank you for joining me. I'm really excited. Before I start the show, I want to say a big hello to all the countries listening to this show. We not only have Chile, Spain and the US in the top 10 countries listening right now, but we also have Japan and Brazil climbing right up there, joining us in the top 10. Konnichiwa and arigato to Japan. <laughs> and hola, muito obrigado to Brazil. Hopefully I pronounced all this correctly. The show is truly becoming global. That's really exciting. But everybody's welcome, of course. We are all here to learn. I'd like to also take this opportunity to say hello to my special listeners in Seville, Spain, Sevilla. Two lovely ladies called Alicia and Nuria. They are teachers of Spanish and they have an online school called Spanish by Doing. It's all about learning Spanish in a fun way. If you are interested in learning Spanish or improving your Spanish, you're more than welcome to contact Alicia and Nuria. I will leave their details in the show notes and in the transcription on the English Made Simple website so you can reach out to them. You can contact them. That's just another way to say contact. Reach out. Two words. Another phrasal verb. <laughs> so many phrasal verbs. My goodness. All right, guys. Welcome again. Let's continue with this show. Let's get this show going. As promised. Let's look at some more examples of the word look, mirar. Have you listened to the previous episode? If you're new to this episode, if you've just tuned in for the first time, welcome. But also go back to episode 18 and uh, you will be introduced to the word look, see and watch. And you will find out the difference between these three words. So we are kind of uh, continuing from the previous episode. So let's look at some more examples of the word look. <laughs> the goal or objective of this show is for you to remember at least one of the following phrases. Okay, at least one. I'm going to give you a test at the end of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Scary. Oh my goodness, test exam. Ah. Okay, not really. I'm not going to give you a test, but come on. Just remember at least one of the following phrases and then listen to this show again and then remember another phrase. <laughs> How about that? Let's do that. So last time we covered uh, look for, look up and look at. Look for was uh, used very commonly by native speakers. Look for basically means to search. I am looking for my keys. I am looking for my car. <laughs> if you have seen my car. I don't know where I parked it. I'm looking for it. I'm searching for it. Look up usually means, uh, again, it's associated with the word search, buscar. Look up, but it's usually associated with something you're looking up in a dictionary, in a phone book. You're looking for information. You are looking up a word in a dictionary. Look at. Look at is also, also used a lot. Look at always goes together. If you're looking at something, uh, if you're looking, I'm looking at my phone, I'm looking at my friend. Stop looking at that man who is wearing funny pants <laughs> and shoes. Okay. Stop looking at people, Milena. <laughs> let's, uh, so, so that's what we covered in the last episode. So let's start with some new phrases and examples with the word look. First phrase is look after. To look after, there's two words, look and after, after as in luego or después. Look after means to take care of something or someone. Cuidar. I'm going to use mother as an example. A mother looks after her children. A mother looks after her kids. I am looking after two cats at the moment, dos gatos. <laughs> I'm looking after two cats for my sister. She's traveling at the moment. So I'm taking care of two cats. My husband looks after me. Basically means to take care of somebody, to look after someone. Look ahead. Two words. Next example. Look ahead. 
a head is one word. Uh, that means a head is just another word to say uh, future, futuro. Think about what is going to happen in the future and make plans. If you're making plans for the future, guys, then you're looking ahead. Like literally, you're looking in front of you ahead, but far, far away ahead. Okay, that's what it means. Look ahead just means you're making plans for the future. Okay, I am looking ahead. Look back. Back as in atras, back. Think about something that happened in the past. When I look back about mm, two months ago when I started this show, I never imagined it would become so global, right? When I look back two months ago, I was really nervous. My first episode, I had to do it many, many times until I got it right. <laughs> when I look back uh, two months ago, yeah, I was, uh, I was nervous when I started this show. But now I feel more comfortable. So, yeah, looking back, this is, I'm trying to remember what happened in the past, okay? That's what look back means. The next example, example number four, look away, to turn your eyes away from someone or something if you were looking at it. For example, I don't like to watch horror movies, películas de terror. I don't like to watch horror movies. I have to look away from the screen if there is something scary, some monster on the TV. I have to look away because I'm, I'm a chicken. I'm, I'm really a coward. Covarde. <laughs> I'm a coward. I don't like horror movies. Okay. So now we said the first. So the first example was look after to take care of something. Look ahead. Look back. Look away. Right. Look away from the screen. If you if you don't like horror movies vampires and all these, oh, don't like them. I look away from the screen. Number five, look through, a través, through, look through. Read something quickly, like examine something to browse. You can look through a magazine or a newspaper. It's basically, you're not really reading, you're just looking through it. You're not really spending time and analyzing the articles and information. You're just looking through, really, just browsing. That's how I read my newspapers actually <laughs> i don't read newspapers anymore i just look through it i skim through it no need to read it's all a circus in the news everything's a circus radio look forward to <laughs> uh number six or seven i forgot uh the next example is look forward to okay that's three words look forward to forward is in adelante look forward to to feel pleased and excited about something that's going to happen, okay? Look forward to it. It's very, it can be a formal way to say that you're excited about something. Uh, let's say that your friend is organizing a party and your friend, a fiesta, you know, a party, and your friend invited you. And you reply to your friend and you say, oh, thanks, Carlos, uh, I look forward to going to your party. Every time we use look forward to plus a verb, the verb is al always in a gerund form, in ing form. So, I look forward to seeing you. I look forward to seeing you at the party. Okay. I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to speaking with you soon. So, we always say look forward to plus a verb with ing. You know the ing at the end? Ing. <laughs> Oh, another one, another example. Look up to someone. To look up to someone. Three words, look up to. Usually it's look up to someone or somebody. Somebody you respect or admire. Who do you admire? Who is your idol? Who do you look up to? I look up to my dad. He is my idol. I admire my dad, for example, mi padre. All right, guys. I don't know what number we are up to. <laughs> I think this is number uh, eight. Let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, number eight, phrase, phrasal verb, look like, two words, look like. Look like means to resemble, to look similar to something. I look like my sister. I have a twin sister. I look like my twin sister because we, are, we look the same. We look similar. Look like could be used as a comparison. So if you compare somebody, let's say you have a friend, 
Oh, your friend looks like um, Angelina Jolie. <laughs> oh, your friend looks like Brad Pitt. Your friend looks like uh, Justin Bieber. Okay, everybody knows Justin Bieber. Anyway, um, uh, verb look. <laughs> look as a verb on its own basically means appear or look great. You can tell your friend, hey, uh, that scarf looks really great on you. Uh, your shoes you're wearing, they look really great. I think in Spanish you use the verb ver in this case. So, I don't know. Uh, that, did that help? Uh, we had many, many phrases here. We had a lot of phrases. So the first one was look after, to take care, look ahead, look back, look away, look through, look forward to, look up to someone, look like, <laughs> and look as a verb just means, you know, uh, something to do with your appearance, how you look. So I hope this was really helpful. And I will also put uh, more examples of the word look and different phrases on the Facebook group, English Made Simple. I'll also include some translations as well to help you. Uh, if there's something you didn't understand and uh, you have to listen to it again, that's fine. Um, I'm not going to score you. There's no test, okay? There's no test. So relax, relax. You can listen to it as many times as you want. Speaking of exams... I had a request to talk about uh, IELTS a little bit more, specifically the speaking part of the exam. And I think this will benefit everyone, even the ones who are not doing IELTS, who are not doing the English exam. You will still learn something. So I will plan an episode about IELTS, the speaking part specifically. And if we have time, I'll also talk about the writing part of the exam. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please remember to share it with your friends. It will help me a lot, okay? Guys, it's been a pleasure. Until next time, adios. Hasta la próxima.